Hey, people of the world, this is AAG, and welcome back to more Let's Play Phoenix Ride Ace Attorney. Alright, let's go. Hey, uh, uh, Mr. Ride? Yes? Why you look so unhappy? Oh, uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him? This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know, we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. Sat or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. No, it won't be. For poor Mr. <laughs> Christopher Walken's sake. Yikes. And let's go. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Richworth, your opening statement, please. The unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the matter. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if that producer is going to come out. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Vanilla Ice Cream to the stand. Or that Vanilla Ice Cream. <laughs> and there's Mr. Vanilla Ice Cream. Well, the witness state his name and profession. How old can you get? You don't know me. I'm the director. I make the stew samurai noob over for the Salt and no ice cream. I'm a director television. Were you at the Google Studios at the day of the murder? Yes, your honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify in court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in that tra trailer on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Sal Vanilla Ice Cream. He was at the studios from around 9 o'clock that morning. During that morning, I was doing um, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else had lunch at the employee area, but I had a meeting at Studio Trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were at the meeting until around 4 o'clock. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. And that's about it. Hmm. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. According to your testimony, you were in the meeting at that time? Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Alright, here we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hold it. Is that when you always come in to work? Oh, oh, oh no. I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about your freaks in your industry. <laughs> Still, if if W I W, I was pretty busy all that day. Sad face. Tell us more about that 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 day. During the morning, I was doing um an action scene run through. In the employee area. That's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at that run through? Oh yeah, the security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. Oh well. Uh, she was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the looks for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. Oh. Hmm. Why did it go on so long? Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But then he twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? Alright, that's the limp. Which, of course, led to the missing lunch. <laughs> Roths? Rolling on the floor starving? I heard everyone else at night lunch in the play area. Hmm. What exactly did they have for lunch? Two boots steak. The assistant cooked some up. Come to think of it, there were a plate with some phones on the, the employee area. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. But I had a meeting in the studio too, Travis, so I ended up skipping lunch. Hmm. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Could you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix, yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Hmm, it's a little vague. Actually, there is something bothering me. 
Mr. Man Mr. Vanilla Ice Cream, just now you said steak at least. So you ate something other than steak? Yeah, good call. I had some chocolate in my pocket which I used to start off starvation. I see. Is that all? I wish I was onto something there. Hmm, yeah, let's check that back. Hmm. Blah -bitty, blah -bitty, blah We say the same things because it is contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Vanilla Ice Cream. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> when I went to that trailer, I saw something on the table. There were two plates on that table, the same kind of plates in the employee area. Who eat lunch there? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, good call. <laughs> uh, I was in Paris, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. So when exactly did you eat? Uh, we took one break during that meeting. Uh, with the town that... My mental image I will carry with me to my grave. <laughs> Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting that contradicts his testimony, I'll press on that one a bit more. We were at the meeting room for a clock. What were you discussing? The steel samurai started our budget. Get this, the sponsors tried to be insane in Mr. Vanilla Ice Cream. Those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Could you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. So nobody left the table during that whole meeting? During the meeting, well, pretty sure no one left their chairs. Hmm. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well, yeah, not a one. <laughs> Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second! Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. Wait a second! This is a vanilla ice cream! You just contradicted yourself! Didn't you just say to tell you ate a T-bone steak during a break? Oops! Awful. Well? Oh, uh, Mr. Vanilla Ice Cream, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job! If they took a break on one of them, could have gone to the studio during the time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Vanilla Ice Cream, you in testimony, please. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Edward is laughing. Oh, we're back with Edward's witty banters, I see. Yeah. I left the W. We took a break. Oh, fell. But it's only 15 minutes. Fifteen! That's a late jetting in base twelve! Not enough time for someone to say, Commit murder in city one. <laughs> LOL. That's all I just enough time to eat a table steak if you ask me, Steams. <laughs> hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well. You may be getting your cross examination. Alright, here we go. Uh, blah blah blah. Let's go. What time exactly did you take this break? Um, I say it was around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30! That's the time of death! So you could have gone to Studio One and kill Hammer and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. Mm. But it was only 15 minutes! 15! That's only 13 and base 12! What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my table of steak! What else? There were only two plates on that tail trailer table. You're right! The other one was Divas! Sorry, D. Vasquez plate! D. Vasquez, the producer, to eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes. That's quite a feat. <laughs> Not enough time for someone to come in murder in Studio One. Hello, well. Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact clearly came for me. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this matter. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Mm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you go so for Studio One for Studio One? No, it's impossible. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in, the, in that time. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I thought you might be a thoughtless trading on that eye scan. But I see you have at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from death to the scene of the crime was blocked. 
The following list is monkey head by the way. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind off the studio mascot's head. There go! When the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. <sighs> it's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edwards has a point. And somehow, I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. <laughs> now I'd like to relieve Mr. Vanilla Ice Cream from the stand. What? It's over? Wow, that was fast. Well, see you later, Mr. Vanilla Ice Cream. Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in the Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it's also clear that none of these people could have gotten to Studio 1. They, therefore, have no relation to this case. However, with great regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, can we decide to cause no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day? All that is lacking is the size of evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution has pleased on us that we indeed have the size of evidence. Our witness. Oh God, we all know it's that kid. Who is this witness, Mr. Edwards? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Hmm. I see. The court will have to take a 10 minute recess, which after we hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Uh oh. Let's do this. <sighs> what do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia? Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I have never given up on a trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in cross-examination. The people in the trailer could have not gone to Studio One. I thought there was more than that to that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, well, what's going to happen to me? Well, it kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you're innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us, and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Here are the children everywhere, after all. I... You... Thanks. Sniff. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Well, Christopher Walken... We gotta save him, guys. We gotta save him. <laughs> Let's go. Court is back in session for the trial, Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a gray scholar of tender years, and this is a murder case. We worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. I nice to see Edwards taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Good, please bring him a box! What are those donut crates should do? <laughs> a donut crate box for him to stand on so he can be tall enough for us. <laughs> well, the witness stated his name in grade in school. <laughs> witness! What? Just because you're all grown up to me, you gotta push me around? <laughs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the next lady! Hey, I'm Cody Hackins, I'm in second grade! I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, uh, I mean Cody. He's having a trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, uh, you were at the Clover Studios at the day of the incident. You got a problem with that? Please, tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want to talk to me you and Gramps over there with Beard over there? Just Mr. Edgeworth be fine. I prefer being gentle myself. A very long day. Incidentally, autographic equipment is strictly for me in his courtroom. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like the special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you have to bargain terms with a kid? And you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet, but I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix. I wonder if you had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note of that in court record. Alright. Very well, Cody. Please testify the court what you saw that day of the incident. Alright. Let's do this. I wanted to see a steel samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. 
I got kind of lost in the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out of that studio, there was a Steel Samurai! Totally rocked! Right before my eyes, it came out the bad guy! Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down! POW! If I had my camera with me, that would have been a time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Wait a minute. Kind of sounds kind of contradictory, contra contradictory, don't you think, people? Mm. Very well, the defense may begin cross-examination. And be gentle, remember, you're talking to a child. Mm. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Alright, bring it on, kid. Let's do this. You really like to steal Samurai, huh? Of course I do! I tip every show, and I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course, duh! My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. <laughs> I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. <laughs> poor dad. Was that day the first time you've been to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been a couple times. I never imagined to get on their rehearsal day, and that security lady is always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops! I'm getting to it! How am I supposed to talk with cutting me off all that time? Jeez! <laughs> I went through the woods, off the path, so that old lady wouldn't catch me. Hmm. Off the path? Yeah, you know how the studios are, are in the valley there. If you go off the path, a little there's woods. There I was. I see. Anyhow, I was going for the studio. Oh, I was going for the studio. Here we go. Did nothing unusual happen to you on the way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey. Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio. I got kind of lost in the way, though, for about 30 minutes. You got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, I was really relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But I guess what happened next? When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. He looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? It totally rocked! Right before my eyes, I caught came the bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy, a person, kinda tall, skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kinda far away. Huh, he's being awfully vague. Mm. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! Hmm. What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well, well he kinda didn't move. Not a bit. Not like he was dead. I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yes, I suppose he was. <laughs> if I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Hmm. If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have all the time. Really? I could see in the killing freak time when he went home. Being next, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. Hmm. That's kind of contradictory. Hmm. Yes, yes, let me read this. Objection! Let's do this, guys. Cody, what you just said seems a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Look! Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Ray, I'm wrong with you! Uh oh, was it putting that pressure to do it? What is this digital camera contraption talking about? <laughs> it's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. Could have a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on the trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um. Yes, Mr. Wright, how cruel are you are to terrorize a poor child so? I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean by a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody. What? Yeah, so I have my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? Yeah. So, you have the other camera! And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please just try to cry about what you were busy watching. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, I have my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, the, the bad guy stopped moving. He 
be so strong and still set my rules. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, is that all? Well, that was brief. This is winning your cruise examination. <laughs> that was fast. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm a camera with me. So why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. So you were watching the Steel Samurai? Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course! He didn't turn away, not even once? N no! Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm getting to that. A Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Hmm. So, the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person! He was a person! How was he dressed? Mm -mm. Kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then, then the bag stopped moving. Hmm. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, cause the Steel Samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? How did he do that? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap, something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Uh, press him harder. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah. So what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is this meaning of this? The witness has stated that what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do you're being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Whoa. Order, order, Mr. Roy, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, uh, well, <laughs> that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the track, right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Roy, you answer! We have a certain that the Sorry Boy is a great friend of Steel Samurai. Why would you watch the climax of the fight? Hmm... He couldn't watch it, he was watching something else. Show evidence. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Because of the camera! Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he has recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with this operation. I'm aware of that too. Oh, oh. Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else in the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying clearly. Swatter you to realize there was no way he could have just stand there watching his hero and not to take a picture. Right. Cody, there was only one reason why you could have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't using just using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Mm. 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 Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I bet you have anything that's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Me and means business. <laughs> your Honor. The defense would like to request that Cody Hacker testifies once more. Very well, Cody. Could you please tell us about your camera and about why you take a picture of the fight? Um, welcome to the real world, kid. All right, let's do this, guys. Yeah, you're right, pops. Still, Samurai has escaped from the clutch of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture, but the lens wouldn't open at times, so I missed it, and that's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. Still vague. Hmm. Anything strange about this one, Mr. Ray? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Alright, let's do this. And Ragwood hasn't even said anything. Yeah, you're right, Pops. Hmm. Pops? Yeah, I call you Pops, you spiky-haired geezer! Geezer? I'm Mr. Edgeworth. And I deserve to be a gentleman. That's what I hate about grown-ups. You're all so self-conscious. Okay, off with the gloves! Testify, witness! Testify! Yipes! 
<laughs> oh, that was a funny scene. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh, I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely? So I held up my camera to take a picture. We all know that he has a limping leg, so yeah. Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons! I couldn't figure it out! I tried to take a picture! I really tried! But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? The... Well, a person on the ground... I am the Steel Samurai. Oh, well, that's all that happened. Yup. Hmm. That's all? Yeah! I told you! Didn't I take a picture? Hmm, I would have once I got the lens open. Did not take a picture? Not even once? Press him hard. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody! Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture! Hey! Bullseye! <laughs> How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Wow! This feels great! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you could change the TV reflectors, Cody? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Hmm? You erased them? Yeah! Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai Victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon. Or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. Yeah, we found a contradiction, guys. Let's see. Uh, of course, Path to Glory. It contains photos of every victory and the Steel Samurai has one. Of course, you'll never miss this out. Cody! What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for giving me this other day. Huh? Oh, oh right. What was it you told me then? Hmm. I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow with Zam. I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Hmm. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victoriously over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you had just erase it. Will you just keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wee! What exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's the best perfect collection of all every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see. Don't you find this a very odd, Your Honor? All on all the pictures of the Steel Samurai, none of them were taken that day. Wow. Nice... nice deduction, Phoenix. Honor! Mr. Wee! You have any explanation? If the Steel Samurai just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No, no, no wait, no way! Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth, and what a truth it is. M Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes, I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Ruddy, please explain to the crew what's going on here. Why was there no picture in the album for the day of the murder? Why would the boy have to erase the photos he took? The Steel Samurai didn't win! I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win! That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way! No! It's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone, ever! Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us that he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth! You can't handle the truth! You cannot handle the truth, Cody! <laughs> Witness! Uh, I mean, Cody! Is this true? What did you see? Tell the girl what you saw! I... 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 Ah! There we have it. Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? 
Okay, okay, you're right. This is the other I fell down. That he didn't move. Ah! Hmm. Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The steel samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yeah, according to your test witness testimony, the steel samurai was the one who fell. Huh, huh. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Error was the victim. Steel samurai was the victim. There was no victim. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think the hammer was the victim. Quite simple. The victim was Jack Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Wright, we all know that. Right. But I don't feel like the Greek consider your last statement. I'm sorry. I was wrong. <laughs> okay, you're right. First you're right. Now you're wrong. Which is it? <laughs> oh, look. I should have something we're overlooking. <laughs> what is this all? I made a mistake. The samurai, was, the samurai was the victim. If you understand what really happened, it's really actually quite simple. I just wanted to make a little joke there, guys. I already know it was Steel Samurai. I mean, come on, he the one who got hit. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. There we have it. Oh god, Phoenix Wright, you're going good. Order! 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 So the Steel Samurai did photograph. You're saying that the man that comes to was to fit to Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powell's foot injury. Boy! How did Mr. Hammer have gone to Studio One anyway? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Allback said in her testimony? I'm not the end of murder! I ran into Carson Sheer at 1 p.m. Did I see Paul Hammer? Nope! He already got to the studio before I got back to Star Station! Ugh, my voice for him. Jesus. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and sold the Steel Samurai costume. Mm hmm. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. Huh? I thought the Steel Samurai was moving strange, so it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, photo on my digital camera. And why is the phone ringing again? Oh God, Jesus! <gasps> Wh what? Show us quick! No way, man! Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No! <laughs> Here, this is it. Dumb phone. What? Well, look at that, guys! Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that we could be anyone in that costume. You're pleased, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't the size of evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's a proof that we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix? Mia, what? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win that trial. What? You're Your Honor. May I see that photo once more, please? Certainly. I see I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the fact that we know that in the photo. Find the inconsistency in the photo. And if you guys see, it looks like it has a 2. Studio 2, not Studio 1. Your Honor, look at this! I see a gate! Want to draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh yes, well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a 2! Clearly not a 1, Your Honor, correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Edgar sees what I'm getting at. But, but that's impossible! Hmm? Eh? What's all this all about? I'm gonna be shook along with the rest of the court! Oh god, Judge. I'll use the studio map guide map. The body was found here in Studio 1. However, what do we see in the photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Okay. He died. Really? Here! Hey, you guys know the truth. Here! At Studio 2! I see! It would explain the two in the game of the photo! Your Honor, I find it very insignificant that the murder took place in Studio 2. The path was blocked. The trailer is there. The path was blocked. The path of the trailer was blocked! 
So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to the studio too before that time. Yes! Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Sal Vanilla's ice cream's testimony. Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could have not gotten to the Studio One. Why am I speaking so seriously about vanilla ice cream? <laughs> yeah, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with the access to the scene of the crime Studio Two. Hmm. <laughs> As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio Two. Now, on that day, the meeting was held in the very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella Ice Cream and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were out of scene of the crime! And yep. Order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard Miss Olbach saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, saw a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2! This is madness! No, this is Sparta. <laughs> Jack Hammer is the victim! The victim! Why would he steal a steamer Gamma costume? Are you suggesting he did this so he can cover the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that Mr. Jack Hammer stole the costume. I have proof. I have proof! You do? You do, Mr. Ray? Now they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jackhammer stole the costume. The empty bottle! This is it. An empty... medicine bottle? <laughs> I found this at the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping Pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Uh-huh, like I said, like I stated, the, the impossible. Wait a moment! The bottle does raise some suspicions, yes, but there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Uh, fingerprints. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. Mm hmm. This court will suspend proceedings of the current trial for today. Cody Haggis this morning has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we probably thought. The still summary seen by Miss Albany and her vindictive Chuck Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? You hope us to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. J. Hammer steal the steel camera costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for us by me tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> you will need to reconsider your stand in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicions of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, your honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Phew. Glad that's over. Very well, court is adjourned. <sighs> Phew, that was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going about three times during the trial. Me too! Really? You both seem so... so confident. Ha! Huh, maybe I should take a good career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times out there. Me too. Dad? Ha <laughs> ha, of course, we're, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation, but I promise we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Trial. Alright. Thanks, Sniff. Uh, to be continued. Well, guys, that was an awesome case right there, but we'll finish this off with two more videos left. <laughs> See you guys in the next dimension.